hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so in uh, today's video we are going to learn how to create a walkthrough in 3d studio max so uh, here i have a landscape scene and uh, step by step we are going to create a walkthrough so the step number one is uh, creating a path for the camera so i'll just maximize the top viewport and over here we have to create a path so let's hide all the other elements so i'll just select the road and right click and hide and select it so now we have this road and we are going to create a path so that we can move the camera along the road for the path i'll be using the line tool here we have the line tool so click on line and in the creation method we have two options that is initial type and drag type so make sure you select smooth and smooth and then we begin creating the path for the camera like this once the path is done then we'll move on to the second step So here we have created a path. After creating the path, we will just rename the path as a camera path, like this. After you have created the path, the step number two is uh, going to the animation menu. And inside this, we have got an option that is walkthrough assistant. Just click on the walkthrough assistant and we get this small dialog box over here there is an option that is create new camera so i'll just click on this option like this and it has created a camera in the center and this is oriented this side so not an issue so over here in the uh, walkthrough assistant dialog box parameters we have something that is called pick path so i'll just click on the pick path and we have to select the path which we have created for the camera so here I have this camera path and as you can see once I click on the path the camera is automatically aligned on the path okay now let's uh, play the animation and check it's moving or not so just hit the play button and you can see the camera is moving along the path like this okay now over here we have some other options that is uh, we have some option here that is path control so over here there is something that is called follow path now uh, currently the follow path is on uh, that is why the camera is following the path now in case if I put it off you can see the camera orientation has changed so it will move like this it will follow the uh, it will move along the path but the orientation is different it will remain in the original orientation as it was created so make sure to put on the option that is follow path so that it moves along the path then over here we have got one option that is constant speed now for that I'll have to just select the path and show, show you the vertex now over here what happens is uh, when you say when you put off this option that is constant speed in that case what happens the speed of camera is affected depending on the distance between the different vertex so if I play the animation see it is moving very fast because the distance is more but when the distance becomes less between the two vertex the speed of the camera becomes slow so if you want a very constant speed then make sure put on the option that is constant speed otherwise the speed of the camera is affected uh, depending on the distance between the vertex on, on the path so I'll just put on the option constant speed because I want a constant flow like this 
So once we are done with this, then afterwards we have to uh, let's put on the other viewports and see what is happening in other viewports. So over here, let's unhide all other elements. Unhide all. So now we have this and we can use two viewports over here like this the left is going to be the top viewport and the right one we can convert into the camera viewport okay now we need to align the camera for that uh, in the walkthrough assistant dialog box we have an option that is move path to eye level just check this option like this and automatically the path is shifted at a height of uh, 5 feet 5 inches now when we play the animation it is following the path like this uh, by default the camera is set at a height of 5 feet 5 inch now in case we want uh, to set the camera at a much higher level we want to create some kind of fly through effect so we can just raise this value and we can increase the eye level as per the requirement let's type in 10 feet and we can go even higher so let's type 20 feet and we can just play the animation see how it works see now it's uh, now the camera is moving at 20 feet and we are you know it's like flying between the trees Uh, I'll just type in the value 5 feet 5 inch so that we get back to normal now second thing what we have to is uh, in case you want to turn the head of the camera either towards the left or right that is possible using this slider in case I want to turn the head of the camera towards the right I'll have to move the slider towards the right like this in case I want to turn the head of the camera towards the left, I need to move the slider towards the left. So, and in case you want center, just click on the center. Now over here, if I play the animation, you can see the camera is uh, moving straight following the eye level and the path. Now in case we want the camera to look upwards. So basically we want to tilt the camera angle so for that you have this option that is head tilt angle in case we want the camera to look upwards we have to give a, a higher value like this so it is going to look towards the sky and let's play the animation now see the camera is looking towards the trees upwards like this and similarly in case we want to uh, tilt the head of the camera downwards so for that we'll have to reduce the value like this negative value so that it starts looking downwards now it's looking towards the road and if you want the thing back to normal just type in zero so it is back to normal okay now over here we can even animate the head of the camera now say for example at uh, frame number 90 I want the camera to look towards the left so I can just put on the auto key and move the slider towards the left at uh, frame number 90 like this and at frame number 120 I want the uh, head of the camera to come back to center so I'll just click on center similarly in case I want uh, say for example at 140 frame I want the camera to look towards the right so I can I can move the slider towards the right and again I'll just bring the camera head to center like this so this all animations are recorded because we have the auto auto key on and just we'll see how it works uh, play the animation the camera is looking towards the left now it is moving to uh, it is looking at the center then started looking towards the right then again back to center so that way we can add animation in between 
now in case we want we are not satisfied with the with the head movement and all we can uh, use the option that is remove all head animation just click on this and it will remove all the unwanted keys or whatever keys we have created for the head movement now beside this we have uh, something over here that is field of view now field of view is basically how much wide uh, you want to capture or you want to narrow or wide so that can be adjusted from here like this you want a wide view or narrow view that we can adjust like this and once we are done with this we just close the dialog box and we can maximize this camera viewport and play the animation from the beginning so it is going like this and the camera is following the path we have removed all the head animation which you have added so it is not looking left or right it is just following the path and it will go ahead like this so that is how we can uh, create a animated walkthrough in 3d studio max thanks for watching